sorry, I, I didn't know you were here. Great minds and all that. I heard what you said. You want to know why her baby died? Yeah, I do. I'll find out with you. Yeah, you will? You, you said you wanted to let it go. I changed my mind. Why? What happened? Hey! Hey, did Michael tell you that hospital food joke? The one about the ice chips? <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Oh, maybe he didn't tell it right. So, um, you know what I was thinking about the other day? Paris, Texas. I think about it all the time. <laughs> we had some great times, didn't we? You, me, your mom. And Tommy. Yeah. Hey, I remember the really cool book you gave me. The one about the pirates. Oh, uh -huh. you used to go on and on about that book. <sighs> now I can talk about his stupid cancer. There's nothing else. <gasps> that is not true. Yeah, hello. You've got a donor now. And your mom and dad, they're together like they were always meant to be. Hey, that's not nothing. I'll be right back. I'm just going to see if... Michael, uh, yeah. Look, I wouldn't worry. You know, everyone's emotions, they're just a little high right now. It makes sense, especially with your Aunt Stacy giving you this transplant. It's not just that. There's something going on between my mom and my dad. Something bad. How you feeling? Is this gonna take much longer? Uh, you should be done within the hour. You think you can hang in there? I don't have a choice. Yeah, I know. It's not easy. But, uh, you know, what you're doing for your nephew, I think it's incredibly brave. Please, it's not like I'm a hero. Well, from where I stand, then you are. I'll be back in a bit, okay? Make it quick. I'm not supposed to be on the phone. You guys better be on schedule. I'm not sitting here having my blood sucked out of me for nothing. Well, what do you want us to do, gun it? This thing takes a while. Yeah, tell me about it. Anyway, I should be done pretty soon. Thank God. I had no idea when I decided to pretend to be this donor that I was actually having to do this for real. Stacy. Who were you talking to? Why, how, how much did you hear? This doesn't make any sense. I know. How would John McBain's fingerprints end up on the knife that was used to stab Blair? Oh, how I wish I had an answer to that. Well, let's have uh, John McBain clear it up for all of us. Is McBain still in the building? Uh, no, sir. He just left. Why? Is, is there a problem? <laughs> Anybody home? What are you doing here? I had to see you. What's up, Commissioner? The results came back on the knife that you two found at uh, Rosen's room. The blood was Blair's. I knew it. They also found a partial print. It was Rosen's, right? Mm. Well, th then whose was it? Cannon? Mayor! When exactly were you going to phone my office, or didn't you think I'd be interested to know? About what? You've got proof that son of a bitch ex-cop John McBain stabbed a woman and then married her so she couldn't testify against him.
print was on the knife. How is that even possible? Okay. You know, John is not the killer, okay? He found the killer. Someone is setting him up. Back to work. Now. Mayor? My office? What are you doing? Uh, no. If you think you're calling you John, you think again. Do you want to keep your job? Listen, I'm worried about John, too, okay? But if one of us tips him off, it's only going to make him look more guilty. How did you find out about those test results? I just got the report. I'm well connected. Or have you forgotten? Information trickles up. What I want to know is why McBain hasn't been arrested yet. What the hell are you waiting for? I hope it's okay. The... I told the security guard I was your friend and he let me in. That's fine. I also told him I had something important to tell you. I think I know what it is. You do? It's about what happened last night at Manning's. I saw the way you looked at Rose and you remember him, don't you? Sorry about that. Why? I'm supposed to be strong for my kid. Oh, come on. He's okay. He can handle a little emotional overflow. Maybe, but seeing his mom race out of the room in tears doesn't exactly boost morale. He's fighting cancer. He's holding it better than I am. Shane seems to think that you're upset about more than just his illness. Like leukemia isn't enough. Oh, honey, honey, I know that you are worried sick about Shane, but is there something wrong between you and Rex? I didn't hear anything. I swear. Good, <laughs> because, uh... Um... Well, I uh, was honestly sort of bitching about this procedure just a tiny bit. <laughs> well, yeah, I would too. I would do anything to save Shane's life. And you are. I know I haven't always been your favorite person. But I'm not going to lie. Things have been weird between us, at least for me. Gigi finding us in bed together. Well, I still don't get it. And I don't like it. Yeah, uh, about that. Let, I... Let's not go there. I just want to say, no matter what happened, what you're doing for my son, I am so grateful to you. And I don't know how I could ever repay you. Well, we'll think of something. So, uh, how are things on her end? Well, that biatch is skating on real thin ice. Who the hell does she think she is checking up on me? And who could trust her messing around with a kid's life just to get what she wants? Hey, no matter how this goes, the positive is your grandson gets his life back. Okay, a, a match is a match. And trust me, it's not that easy to find. It's the only good thing this miserable excuse for a human being has ever done for anyone, let alone me. Hello? You get every drop of blood. I am gonna lose this blood in the What's going on in there? Something about Chloe's christening just made me see things differently. What do you mean? Everyone was so happy. Jessica was showing her baby to everyone. My Aunt Vicky was had a big smile on her face and Chloe was surrounded by her entire family. Even felt like Nash was there, you know? And I held her. It just made me think about... What? About how things were before we lost hope. I wish I could just go backward. I'm not trying to be nosy. I'm just worried about you. I've got no complaints. My son is getting his transplant. <clears throat> I'm your friend. I think I can tell something is wrong. Shane can tell something is wrong. Talking about it might help, you know? Not always. It's not what you used to say. You can't tell anyone, not Shane. Not even Michael, promise. Oh, you've kept my secrets. That's what we do for each other, right? 
everyone's gonna find out anyway. But Shane can't know until he's on the mend and he's strong enough to take it. Okay, take what? Come on, what is going on? Max and I... <clears throat> we broke up. It's over between us. I mean it, Rex. All I care about is Shane getting better, and it means every... so much to me to hear you say that we're okay again. Well, I'd be a jerk if I didn't. It's not exactly good times donating stem cells. You're a real trooper. I'd do anything for you. And Shane. Oh. Uh... You must be Rex. Yep, you are. Skylar, Skylar, Joplin. Um, we li we live together. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, we go way back. We're just old friends, and I've been uh, crashing at his place while I was prepping for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. And we're exes, actually. So. Like back from Vegas, though. We're just friends now. <laughs> Here. Daisies, my favorite. Well, I was just checking up, so I'm, I'm... You look like you're doing fine. I am blown away that she's doing this for my son. Rex, you don't have to keep saying that. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it must be really hard. I, I, I wish your son well. I'm going to go. So, I'm glad to see you're doing well. Oh, Sky. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, it was just so weird. We just, like, crossed paths a little while back. I had no idea he was in Landview. Thank God he was, or I wouldn't have had a place to stay after Gigi kicked me out. You can't rent an apartment with no money. I'm sorry. Gigi did that to you? Please. It's nothing compared to what she did to you. Come on. You and Rex, you can never break up. You love that man. He loves you. Look, Marcy, I told you what's wrong. Now let's move on, okay? No, let's not, because you can't possibly be serious about this. I am. It's done. What happened? It doesn't matter now. The only thing I care about is making sure Shane gets through this. Well, was it Shane being sick? Has that caused problems between you two? Because that would be normal and you could totally work through that. No, Marcy, it's not that. I slept with Brody Lovett. And Rex found us in bed together. There's no working through that. What's with the snippy attitude? I'm just visiting someone. You can keep visiting after I check the patient's vitals. No, 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 no. You can't go in there. Why? Well, not right now, because, you know, I just need some private time. Just the two of us, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. Excuse me. No, no, no. You can't go in there right now. You don't seem to understand. I most certainly can. Everything okay out here? Just the two of us? When I saw Zach's face... So smug. I could see his face like it was all those years ago. It was there. Terror, the helplessness, the rage came back. What he did to you, that never goes away. Is he the killer? He looks guilty right now. Something about that doesn't sit right with me. You really want me to arrest John McBain and charge him with murder? Take a look at the damn evidence. Well, I have, and there's not enough. You have cut a knife with the victim's blood and the fingerprint of someone who has a history of violence. Violence? Well, he loses his temper every now and then. I mean, who doesn't? But that's a far cry from stabbing three people. The DA is right. There's no proof that John was in the vicinity of those three incidents. Oh, I get it. You two are his friends, and so the fix is in. Are you actually suggesting that John McBain would stab two people and then attempt to murder his own wife? I'm not suggesting that. 
I'm saying it. Fish, chill out, okay? The commissioner is handling this. Why is the mayor doing this? What does he have against John anyway? You know what happened. Okay, the mayor tried to stop John from investigating Todd Manning. Manning's one of his biggest contributors. But John broke in anyway and found that Todd was basically holding Marty Saybrook as his prisoner. Oh, oh, oh so, so John was right. Yes, he was. And he also made the mayor look really stupid. The mayor hates it when that happens. Yeah, well, it just seems like he wants John to fry. The questioner would never let that happen. Arrest McBain. Haul his ass in here. Got it? You two. Don't move a muscle. I'm sorry, that's just how it feels. Hey, hey. I, I get it. I feel the same way. You do? Yeah. Uh, before our baby died, uh, I thought that we'd get through anything. And yeah, I was mad that Marcy was adopting her, but I, I got why you were doing it. And the day that she was born, we were together, and uh, things were... Better. <laughs> better than they are now. Way better. You know, Marcy was at the christening. Oh, uh, yeah? Did she lose it? No. No, she kept it together. How do people do that? Do what? I get to that place where they're at peace with stuff. I don't know. Maybe they're just faking it. No, Marcy wasn't. She was there with Michael, and things are better with them now. Of course, she'll never forget Hope, but she's accepted that she's gone. I don't see that happening with you and me. I think that if we found out how Hope died, maybe we could... Maybe we could let her go. And maybe there would be hope for us. Who are you? Um, this is my nephew. You didn't mention him before. Well, I have such a large family that I forgot. I'm sorry about that, sweetie. <laughs> That's okay, huh, Roxy? <laughs> uh, I'm an intern at Landview Hospital. Uh, she wanted me to come by and check out her friend, you know. Second opinion. From an intern? Top of my class. Oh, yeah, he's a real smarty. He's probably smarter than most of the doctors here. And surely most of the nurses. But you, you, could, you could see why, you know, we didn't want to upset anybody, you know. Mm. Interesting. I'm sorry to be so blunt, but I don't see how your nephew's opinion could matter in this case. This patient has no brain activity. I hate to tell her, but this patient never did. Oh, man, that was so close. So, so where's that blood-sucking thingy? It's behind the curtain. Good job. You got the blood sample? Right here. Is that all of it? We just need to go to the hospital and switch that with Stacy Marascos. You're a genius. Welcome to the family. All right, now we're going to save my grandson. Martha, you asked for the truth, and I gave it to you. Just, can you please let it go? I'm just confused here, because you were with Brody, I don't know, over a decade ago. And even then, you really only wanted to be with Rex. It's not about Brody. Well, then what is it about? It's complicated. You know what? It doesn't even matter. It really doesn't. You just have to fix this with Rex. I can't. No. You have to. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't mean to eavesdrop. Are you Gigi Marasco? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Skyler. I'm a friend of Stacy's. 
Are you here to visit? Uh, no, well, I just wanted to check up on her. Um, I'm so sorry about what is happening with your son. Thank you. Have you seen Stacy yet? Yeah, I just, I just uh, came from her room. Uh, sh she was with Shane's father. I shouldn't have brought it up. I'm sure the last thing you want to talk about is Gigi and Brody, you know. Yeah, sleeping together? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Can I just say one thing, though? If this was her idea of payback for what you and I did... Which was nothing. Okay, my point is... You deserve so much better. So much better. Thanks. Don't push me, Buchanan. I told you. There's not enough for an arrest. And I'm telling you, have these two bring McBain in for questioning or I will fire you and get someone who will. Okay? We will bring him in for questioning. And that's it. And I don't want to find out you gave him special treatment. Commissioner, if that knife was found in Rosen's room with John's prints on it, then Rosen is setting him up. My guess is that the mayor thinks that uh, John planted the knife and he's trying to frame Rosen. He just didn't wipe it off well enough. If John was really going to do something like that, that knife would be clean. You know, it doesn't really matter what the mayor thinks. We have no motive. And we have absolutely nothing that could put John even near that motel room. What? Okay, the oh, yeah. thing is... I have to tell them. Uh, when Fish and I went to Rosen's room for the 911 call for the b &E, John was there. All the evidence points to Rosen. You know, the timing, the letters found on the victims, the newspapers about you. Right. There's the knife. There is? Mm -hmm. CSI dug up floorboards in his motel. There it was. Well, it sounds like an airtight case, right? But... But I'm just not confident he's the one. Well, if he isn't, then who is? I wish I knew. Well, I have a feeling you will. Yeah? Yeah. Because, uh, well, one thing I have learned about you is you won't rest if someone you care about is in danger. So whoever stabbed Blair or... Killed Leah West. You're, you're gonna figure it out. I hope so. Before whoever it is does it again. You uh, you really think there's hope for us? To be like we were? Probably not. Too many bad things have happened since Hope died. Pills, Matthew. I think it's still weird with your mom. It's getting better. Kind of. We both need to feel better. You you have been through hell too, so how come you didn't completely flip out like me? Oh, I definitely flipped out just in a A very different way. Well, it looked to me like you kept it together. Going through the pregnancy was the hardest part, but I knew that giving Marcy a healthy baby was a really good thing. You know? Yeah, I get it now that I shouldn't have fought you on that. But you were there for me when I was in labor, and that meant everything. I needed your help, and I asked for it, and you were there. And now I want to be there for you. I want to help us find out how our baby died. You sure you can handle that? I don't know. I... At least it'll be better than thinking that it was the combination of the two of us that killed our little girl. Maybe... Maybe if we just... If we find out what happened, it could bring peace back to us. I really want that. 
I want that for the both of us. Me too. And, uh, I don't think that I could do it without you. I'll be with you. But, Cole, there's, there's one more thing. What's that? We're the only ones who can know about this. Not your mom, and definitely not Marcy. What are we doing? Okay, you hang here. I'm gonna check on my grandkid, and then we gotta go figure out how to get to Stacy that flus and do our little switch. Shane Marasco, you ready to kick some cancer butt? You know it! Hey! Hey! Hey, man, how you doing? Not bad. What's, uh, what's this, takeout? Huh? Good God, man, it's a joke. It's a joke. Hey. Shane okay? As good as he can be, I guess. He's waiting. Are you almost done? Just about. It's been a little rough. This isn't the easiest thing you can do. Poor thing. All I want is for Shane to get better. That's all that matters. Nothing else. Excuse me. Hi there. Boom. All set. All right. I just need to take your sample, get it down to Shane, and we can rock and roll. Thank God. Oh, but what about your mom? What about her? But she told me she wanted to be here every step along the way. I haven't seen her. Roxy has the best intentions, but she's a little lax on the details. <sighs> Good to know. Doc, you sure you got all you need? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Right here. McBain was at Rosen's motel room when you two got to the scene. Now, why didn't I know anything about that? Sir, we know. It was... It was wrong. It, you're damn right. It was wrong. What, the, what was he thinking? Honestly, sir, I think John was worried. Nothing was really happening with our investigation. Well, you see, John is not a cop anymore. So why would he know what's going on here? Well, see... Talk. John was the one who called in the beginning. What? I know, I know. What was he thinking? Well, you know, I thought it was kind of genius. We needed access to the room. Josh found a way. Really? How about, here's an idea, a novel idea. How about requesting a court order to search the premises based on evidence? Huh? And now that evidence includes a knife with John's prints on it. Okay, all right. That's enough for now. I'm going to deal with you two later. Right now... Find McBain, bring him in, and don't let him talk you into any more shenanigans. Sir. Yes, sir. Who's doing this? Is this Rosen? Who's doing this? I don't know. But somebody is setting John up. It's a little cold. You sure you want to talk out here? Yeah, because I don't want Star to come home and hear us talking about her. What about Star? Cole told me this in confidence, but you're responsible for Blair's children now, and, and Blair can't deal with this when she's in the hospital. What is it? According to Cole, and he's pretty upset about it, Star's involved with one of her teachers. How involved? He wasn't sure. A guy named Joplin, right? Yes, you knew? I knew she was working with him after school. Does anybody at the school know about this? Apparently. I mean, he was the type... What is it? What's wrong? Okay, your mom and dad are going to be back in a couple of minutes. I'm rooting for you, Shanester. <laughs> right. Doctor's on his way. Give me that bag of blood, baby. Now? Yeah. Shane told me that the doctor's on his way to pick up Stacy's uh, bag. Come on. Hand it over. What are you going to do with it? You can't pull this off by yourself. You want a bed? I pulled off worse. Oh, that is so nasty. Okay. 
All right. Page me on this number in about 30 seconds and then hang up. Where, where are you going with that? Wait, down to Shane's room. The sooner we get this transplant going, the better. Wait. Um, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little woozy. Okay, put your head back. Just take deep breaths. All right, deep breaths. Oh, good. There you are. Shane really needs you. Why? What's wrong? Well, he's real scared. You're feeling sick? It's not uncommon to feel sick. No, not anymore. I was feeling faint there for a second, but I'm um, feeling fine now. I'm going to take this. Excuse me. I'll just get to step outside for one minute. Do your thing, Mikey. Croc, still keep an eye on me. Nice of you to take so long. Where is it? What the hell do you expect me to do with that? It's all yours. You figure it out. Whoever pays me didn't leave a callback number, so are you good? This woman may just have saved your grandson's life. You feeling better? Damn, I wish you were sick as a dog. Go inside and lock the door. We're just an animal, a raccoon or something. Oh, no, just do it. Check this out. Are on. Just keep knocking. I'm gonna go around the back to see if John's car is parked by the garages. Good idea. Radio me if anybody answers. Will do. What are you? Wait. No one but us will know, right? Yeah. Hope was our daughter. So this is between us. Our families and Marcy have already been through enough. They don't need to know that we're trying to find out how Hope really died. Especially Marcy. I mean, she just... She just learned to let go. Yeah, we shouldn't mess with that. Okay, so we agree. We do. We're gonna do this for you, Hope. It's the only thing we can do for you now. You feeling all right? Yeah. I don't know why Grandma said I was scared. I'm not. I'm gonna get better now. Isn't it great that Aunt Stacy found us? Yeah. We are everything. that I'll be right back honey you can go talk to her if you want uh, no she's good she just <clears throat> needs a minute and I'm with you always Baby, come on. Come on. Oh, honey, it's gonna be all right. Come on, don't worry. She's gonna be tip-top in no time. Now look at me. Come on, look at me. Now once that blood gets into him and those stem cells, they're gonna go marching towards that cute little bone marrow. And you're gonna tell Rex what that skanky sister did to you, okay? That the only reason why she would save your son is because you pretend to be shacking up with Brody. Because the thing is, Stacy can't take that blood back. No one can. Why, why would Zach Rosen try to set up John McBain? 
He doesn't even know the man. You know? Their histories have never even crossed. I, 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 I don't get it. I, to top it off, John's the one that's saying that Zach Rosen isn't our killer. It, it's, it just, it's completely backwards. John did not stab Lee Halpern or Wes Granger. And he certainly did not stab Blair Kramer. Okay, I know that, you know that. But if it's not John, and it's not Zach Rosen, then who the hell is it? Police Department, please open up. Let me see your badge. Okay. Dr. Saybrook, I, uh... Wasn't expecting to find you here. What is it? Is something wrong? Uh, do you happen to know where John McBain is? 